Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. I was thinking about the difference between goals and expectations. Now, a goal is a desired result. An expectation is something we believe will happen. And the best way to differentiate between these two things is to, not surprisingly, tell you a story. I was going to a networking coffee with the president of a market research firm. My goal for the coffee was to learn more about what he does, to share with him what I do, and see if there would be ways for us to help each other or refer each other to other people who could be potential clients. My expectation was that, oh, he'd spend about 20 minutes talking about what he did, I'd spend about 20 minutes talking about what I did, and then we'd spend about 20 minutes figuring out where there was overlap and who we could introduce each other to. I arrived on time for the coffee, and five minutes in, I realized it was clear that the president was going to spend the next 50 minutes telling me in excruciating detail exactly what his company did. Now, if I'd been focused on the expectations, and frankly, initially I was, my reaction was, well, geez, all he wants to do is talk about himself. And boy, isn't he full of himself, value judgment. And when's the soonest I can get out of here because there's nothing here for me? But then I remembered my goal. And I asked myself, does he know people who should know me? And I thought, yeah, I believe he does. And the important follow-up question, am I willing to pay the price to sit here and listen to him tell me all about his company in an effort to build rapport with him so that he'll feel comfortable introducing me to the people he knows who should know me? And I thought, yes, I'm willing to do that. So I sat there and paid attention and listened well to what it was that he was saying and took my notes. And at five minutes before the top of the hour, he turned to me and said, so what do you do? And I'm a get crap done kind of person. I can tell somebody in five minutes what I do. And literally within the next week, he introduced me to a person who became an excellent client of mine for a number of years. My expectation was how I would meet my goal. And that didn't happen. But I was still able to meet my goal because I was focused on that. I was focused on the what and not the how. This week, as you're setting goals, realize you also have expectations on how you think those goals will show up and what other people should do and what you should do. And guess what? There are times when we're too focused on our expectations, we're too focused on the how, and we don't realize that there's a better way to get to the goal. Pay attention to the difference between your expectations and your goals. And when they differ, stick with the goal. And when you do this, hey, not only will it be a whole lot easier on your intestinal fortitude, but you'll become the most persuasive person in the room and the person who's meeting his or her goals. Thanks for watching.